Okay, bro. Uh, five days to go. Okay. Um, there should be everything unlocked now. Uh, let's be using another quest. Complete quest. Okay, let's turn on Cocos mode. What other quest? I don't have any other quests active. Uh, it may be the last part of the Tribal Chronicles. I probably should try to avoid being close to here when I'm ending the event. Mm. Yeah, it depends how this event goes. I may have uh, an afterword here or something. Okay, so that uh, this probably won't be voiced. Yeah. Hey, Sean, I didn't expect you here. Hey there, traveler. Paimon, what? Is it so weird to see me at my own home? Yeah. What well, did you expect to see here? Uh, no, but Paimon thought you have found a beautiful tree to get a few days. Sh should I in by now? Since you just solved such a big problem. Uh, I love to, but everyone's being busy with the reconstruction. I feel wrong. You feel wrong to slack off a time like this. Okay, so this is supposed to go after the main quest. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's what her quest would be about, but hopefully this will be before that. So this is where you decided to contribute. Here, let me show you something. Oh, what a pretty jewel. Yeah. Looks pretty valuable, something looks off. We don't know anything about jewels. Uh, yes, but that's not all. This is a phlogiston honey pearl with peculiar patterning that's been making the rounds recently in the market. They are usually produced by phlogiston aphids. Pretty common, really. Uh, we can see... Uh, But these oddly patterned ones are both novel and scarce, making them quite expensive. I won't get it. Uh, that's just like how we love treasure chests that have awesome looking patterns on them too. <laughs> so I bought a few for my collection, and guess what? After a few days, the pot of plant I was raising nearby had withered. That doesn't look withered. I didn't think much of it first. At first, I mean, I don't know the first thing about growing plants anyway. Later, however, I heard Kachima say that some people got sick. Hmm. Most of them were customers of Chevin's gemstone shop. Even Chevin herself broke no exception. It's like when people get elemental poisoning or something from phlogiston. No. Oh, wait. Did it all had something to do with this gem then? I thought so too. So, I saw his mesh one open and discovered that it contained some Epsilon energy. Mm. Low concentration, of course, so it is in the phlogiston. And isolated by the outer shell of the honey pearl itself, which made it almost undetectable. What about the victims? How they're doing now? No need to worry, the low concentration resulted in rather minor maladies, with most being sleepy or being prone to exhaustion. It hasn't had any effect on the more fit, like myself or Kachina. Hell, uh, and here I thought this might be a stick situation. Sticky, like the honey in honey, honey pearls? I bet I was thinking sticky like slimes instead. Uh, you know it, importantly for us, this problem is this problem is only a threat to ordinary people, just like slimes. Uh, you two really understand one another. We told a little. Still, we this shouldn't be caps. We've met lots of people scared of stiff, scared stiff by slimes, and they weren't really ordinary people. It's usually some adventurers. 
So it's not like we can ignore it just because it, it isn't dangerous for us, right? Exactly, I already explained the situation to our chef, chief and asked him to collect and destroy all the strange hunting pearls on the market. We still need to attack this issue at the source. My sentiments exactly. Like I said, phlogiston honey pearls are produced by phlogiston aphids. If anything is the source of the problem, it will be them. So we'll kill innocent bugs. I want to look for Knich, since he's got the better head for investigating between us. Yesterday he sent word that he found aphids with abyssal contamination. There are also traces of their presence near the sides of the canopy and the people of the springs. Right, and Kinich also didn't find Molani. However, they're not exactly gemstone enthusiasts, so the problem didn't affect them as much. Mm, looks like there are all sorts of lingering abyss related issues, huh? Guys, we've gotta be patient. How do you plan to deal with the aphids? Cashman, first, we can still purify this level of abyssal contamination, we shouldn't need to harm the aphids. We can purify, I've only seen the trailer purifying aphids so far. Uh, Kanish has marked out places where they gather and are heading to a spot near our tribe. Would like to come along by the way, a little bug catching sounds like fun, doesn't it? I have to invite Kachina, but unfortunately she's already occupied. Are we there so you can slack off? I'm game. Uh, no, seems like a boring gig. Yeah, this is probably after her quest then because we don't know she likes slacking off yet. We didn't interact much with her. Casually, yeah, it was more like mission. Hey, you need that, and then we went to do our quest. Uh, do I look like I'm going to lie down and watch you from a tree? We'll be working together. Just kidding, let's go. Let you have you. Uh, would have been a boring trip otherwise. Let's head off then. Mm. Yeah. Okay, here. Uh, they aren't gem enthusiasts, but Molani sometimes catches a few for Kachina. <laughs> it's huge. This is our spot. See that? An aphid polluted with the power of the abyss. Way larger than any normal one ever gets. Mm. Oh, what a huge aphid. Uh, is it dangerous? Relax, even though it's been contaminated by the abyss, its behavior doesn't seem to have changed at all. Still, I especially prepared an extra large insect net to make sure everything goes smoothly. Here you go. You'll come in handy for catching them in a moment. Alright, by the way, Ganesh mentioned something rather unusual. He discovered that there's a special berry that always grows near areas where abyssal aph aphids are found. The berry contains a toxin that can paralyze the aphids. How convenient. So if we spread them on the net, it will stop the aphids from struggling. Hmm, why are aphids laying around berry that paralyze them? Seems kind of strange, Paimon. I think so too. First time I heard of animals living alongside something that's dangerous to them. It's totally unnatural. Wait, could someone be behind them getting infected with the bees? I'm not sure on high large days. Hey, even the dumbest guys grow up. And Paimon was never dumb to start with anyway. He wants a bit. Uh, the only problem with that is that we searched everywhere but didn't find any trace of human vomit. So let's just chalk it up to some unknown natural aphid behavior for now. Fine, but no matter what, we've got to catch them first. We don't want anything else to, that makes people sick running around. Let Buster Squad move out. Okay, to top here. 
Abyssal Roaded Flogis on Aphids will be protected by special wards that before they break will prevent your attacks from depleting Abyssal Power. Once its ward is broken, the Aphid will be stunned and while the ward is broken, each attack by the character can deplete a specific amount of Abyssal Power. Nights of Align uh, attacks or higher frequency attacks can deplete Abyssal Power more quickly. Uh, deploying Shillan Insect Nect within its effective range can greatly damage a ward and trap aphids. Characters' attacks can damage the wards and Nights of Align attacks can do so more effectively. The Insect Nect needs to be needs to charge up before being used. Hey, my camera. Collects Shackle berries to charge the net and restore the phlogiston. The challenge will contain shackle berry plants and objects that contain these berries. Defeating certain almonds will also grant a small amount of shackle berries. If it is corrupted by uh, absorb power or attack, they will flee to the next zone after a period of time. If the wards have been broken, Abscorrel and Flogis and Wenfeeds will immediately flee to the next zone once they recover from their stun state. There is a fixed upper limit to the amount of Absol power that can be depleted each time the ward is broken. Okay. Now I, ha I have to use Kirks. Uh, there are certain times so I have feet nearby, activity near the children of Echo, no time to lose, the operation to capture them starts here. For the info to the operation, seek out the flush so if it corroded by the abyss, use the insect net to catch it, quickly break the ward, and attack faster to build themselves power and capture the aphid. Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't even see her weapon. Ah, um, maybe we don't. No, we have to attack. Are we not attacking with. with uh, weapons here? Insect net collection of bears to charge the insect net when an abscorrel flogis on if it's nearby. Using the insect net will greatly harm the ward. Uh, I have to grab that. Uh. Way to the next area. There's a limited amount, and they just vanish into the next one. All right, new record, but it doesn't really matter. Or this first was, was more like a trial. Here we did it. So this bugger certainly looks big. It was pretty easy to catch. It's not dangerous at all, other than the fact that it likes to run away. The insect net is a numbing berries were really useful too. Uh, but seeing as that it's the abyss these aphids are contaminated with, they could attract monsters. Best be on your guard, uh, so there will be fights. Uh, you're right, and since these all too convenient berries just happen to be here, well, if it was Paimon, she stayed clear 
of those of any enemies. Being around berries like this isn't normal or natural, Inus. We should keep our eyes peeled. There's something real fishy going on for sure. It certainly look like an expert on suspicion going on going on. I'm kind of learned from you. Huh. Anyway, thanks for coming out here with me. We've taken care of on one area, so it's about time for a nice little break. After all, I'll need your help over the next few days too. I'll wait until the following day. There was no time there, right? Just wait. The final, the final area where they were spotted. Uh, you're here. This is the last place where I'm. I'm so if it's worth spot was spotted. So we're done with catch it here, right? Pretty much. Even if a few men should get away, it's not a big deal. I'll find time to deal with them. It's sounding like I skipped some in between things. This is can't be the end already. I already heard from the tribe that the patients have taken a turn for the better over the last few days. That's great news. So there is one fly in in the ointment. Uh, your conspiracy theory turned out to be just that, Paimon. Seems like those fruits just grow naturally where the aphids tend to congregate. Uh, Paimon never expect some kind of a toy or treasure hoarder or some other kind of mastermind behind the scenes. Paimon just showing the kind of sensible caution any guy worth her salt would have. I sure you'll always be vigilant, Paimon. And that's a given. Alright, let's hurry up and wrap this up then. Okay, Bug Buster Squad move out. Time for our final battle. Hang on, let me see the event. Even details. Am I here? I am here, I am the last one. Uh Permission guard the other so I think it has been confirmed, seems to be extremely resilient. It seems to have exceptional warning ability. Okay, let's go to the second. And uh, that okay. Okay, the others are marked now. Probably wouldn't meet her on the others, right? Afterward is broken, I'm this corrupt logist and I think it won't be stunned for as long. Is an in each round? Would he be here maybe if I if I didn't skip to the last one? Or if I was doing that as it was getting released. Ten points for agility.
Uh, he can. He can use that too. Huh. Uh, I like to see a howl like that. No. Uh. Target acquired. I oh, know I have the timing as well, right? Uh, okay. I actually wanted to see that screen again. Corona infliges on AF, will counter attack after being attacked. Someone has fought an episode AF, North East of the size of Canopus territory, is quite temperamental and attacks frequently, so take caution when dealing with it. There was a rock here that I didn't have.
be weird this event. So if it has appeared near the people of the springs, it's said to be quite quick and you need to stay on the move to stay on its tail. Why two if you need? Oh. Damage. Some bugs. <laughs> Uh, the speed of the Abscorrot Plogiston A feet has greatly increased. to the last one. Shall I have zero in on the final area? The F5 is active. It's time to wrap this up. Well, we execute the operation. Okay. The abs for the Phlogiston A feed will have more HP and more monsters will be present in the area. Yeah, there were no monsters present in the previous ones. Defeat the monsters to obtain shackle berries. I was supposed to climb down the tree.
Blade Bear. Hey, Blade. Exit with this option here. Ah, um, surely it was fun. Uh, you too as well. Hello, Oro. What's wrong? Have you recovered? Thank you for your concern. Granny spent a few days pouring bitter stuff down my throat and forcing me to rest, and I'm much better now. What was wrong with you? Hey, Oro. Are you here to help Shilani catch aphids? David, oh, so you were the ones who can have hundred percent sweetness. Uh, no wonder extreme sweetness and unusually sweet also disappeared. It was you all along. Mm, are all those the name? Are, are those all the names of aphids? Yep. It makes it easier to tell them apart. I don't think with those names it does. I don't actually judge them after all. They are still amazing, even if you, if they don't produce honeydew. So these aphids were all raised by you? Actually, I don't really do much that will interfere with their natural behaviors. We just happen to live in the same territory. It's a kind of relationship where we just get along with each other. Uh, sorry, I had no idea, but they were contaminated by the abyss, which was affecting the tribe, so we had to take care of that. Yeah, that's right. And we didn't harm them either, just so you know. Really, that's good. Still, no need to worry. It's no big deal. In fact, I myself came here to deal with that problem. But I must set the record straight. Uh, the aphids weren't contaminated by the abyss. There are smart little creatures who chose to eat the abyssal energy. Uh, say what now? They chose to eat it. Exactly, they only eat a little bit at a time, so that little bit is enough to make their bodies expand, but it won't kill them. After a while, they'll fly somewhere far away and then create phlogiston honey pearls that bind up the contaminants inside. The outer shell of the pearl acts as a barrier against the contamination, and this way they can slowly strip away the abyssal energy from their home. Though the process must be repeated over and over and over, but they are all patient creatures. Even if they ain't smooth, it isn't a problem. Uh, so they're protecting their home. First I've heard of it as well, so they know the land's being invaded too. Yes, 100% sweetness and the rest have been fighting hard. They are all really great capable aphids. Guess that's not on the nation of war for you. So, Oro, how did you find this place? Oh, that's because I fed them some numberry seeds. They can digest them, so it doesn't take long for them to execrate them. Excrete them. And after the seeds hit the ground, they grow quickly, turning into fruiting bushes. If I found the bushes, I can find them. <coughs> 
then I gather the honey pearls I produce and take care of them and then use more gnome berries to bring them back but it seems like you guys have already done all that for me and didn't harm them in the process really I'm very grateful to you all so that's what's going on with the gnome berries Mom was draining all her brain juice trying to figure out if there was some kind of plot behind them huh? did it cause you any trouble? no not at all, don't worry about it our own rest assured that we will return all the abyss cleaning aphids back to you, just as they were. That would be just perfect. They are very important living beings. I must be treated well. Well, since the problem is already taken care of, I'll see you all later. Feel free to drop by and visit me next time. Yeah, we can't get to your village yet. I'll take you to see some other good friends of mine. Then I'll be looking forward to it. Until next time. You know, I never imagined things would, would turn out quite like this. That Oro sure is a master of surprises. I thank you both. With all the two of you around, this would have been one boring trip. This for you is an un uncontaminated phlogiston honey pearl. Don't worry, it's not valuable. Just think of it like a memento, something to remember these tiny warriors who fight for Neto. Unbelievable Jason Honey Pro and a gift from Chilomen. From the nearly crimson color, you can tell that this is of the absolute highest quality. In contrast to her words, the market value of this is astonishingly high. So we could sell that. What could the children be up to? Uh, this the rewards. Just that. Uh, let me see. Let them do it. Is that thing is still blocked by the other? Just look pro far. Uh, I think the quest is all complete. So, no, the quest. Yeah, it's fully complete. Alright, so you'll be that. But I don't know how long that will take. And yesterday's stream was quite long. Yeah. Alright, so I'll have a talk about this place for a while. Uh, let's see, there is something here for that. Good. And let's try to get a one shilling. Not yet. All right, so that was it. Something Quite you fast. wish to report? Go on. All right, so I guess I'm off. <laughs>